Hey everybody, it's Erin Reed from Erin Makes, and today we're going to talk about Creativation 2020. Yes! Alright, so it, I am leaving next week to head out to Creativation, and for those of you who don't know what that is, it is a huge craft and hobby show, it used to be called CHA, that has run once a year, and it's this year it's in Phoenix again, we're going to be there for a couple more years I believe, and it's run by the Association for Creative Industries, or known as AFCI. So basically what it is, is manufacturers, companies that have products that are part of paper crafting, yarn, arts, crafts, anything to do with creative industries is there. And then you have buyers and then you have your influencers, designers, content creators. So the mix of all those people together is what makes all the magic. There are classes, there are workshops, there are demos, there is booths on the showroom floor, there is meetings before the show, there's meetings after the show, there is all kinds of stuff that's happening. So I, it's my fourth year going and it will be my fourth year doing film at this show. So what is my role? What do I do when I go to these shows? Well, I work in some of the booths to help demo and kind of show the new products for some of the companies. And I'll be letting you know my schedule here in a second. Um, I also go around and do filming for some of the latest and greatest for the new products that are being released for content that may, is relevant to my channel. So it's into card making, paints, mixed media, kids crafts, any of the above that's kind of pretty much the content that you would see here. Anything that I think that you guys would like to see, I try and walk around and film. And I do stuff before the show starts, so during pre-setup times, because sometimes you catch some kind of cool things. And I also will doing it during three days of the show as well. The last thing I do is I make connections with companies and other people that are at the show to bring you more content. Because if I'm affiliated with other companies, then I can get paid and make money and do my thing. So this is all part of my business is what I do. And so it's all the buyers, the manufacturers, and the content creators, designers, makers, DIYers all get together and create all this. And it's just, it's, it's a really fun show. And a lot of us who work in this industry, it's our one time a year we get a chance to see everybody. So Creativation or Craft and Hobby Association, CHA, FCI, this particular event is not open to the public. It is only open to people that are either a buyer, a designer, manufacturer, DIY, a member of the organization, Anybody who's part of that, you know, whole big triangle of people that all work together, those are the people that come to the show. So just Joe Blow off the street can't come in and check out all the cool stuff, which is why I love to bring the video content to you guys. So that way you can see the latest releases. And a lot of the brands also put out videos right about this time of year at the show floor starting already. Like some of them started launching a couple of days ago about the new products they're releasing for the new year. So... As I'm walking around the show, I like to take a video. So if you have a particular company that you would like me to stop by, I already have a few on my list that I will be going to, and I already have pre-scheduled and arranged some days and times I'll be doing them. I will be doing live videos. I'm also doing some pre-recorded videos. The reasons for some of the pre-recorded, I will bring them home and edit them and put them up after is because some areas of the show don't get the greatest internet. So I kind of know because this is the fourth year they've been at this particular venue. So I know the spots on the showroom floor that are good and not so good. So I will definitely be doing this. One of the main videos I will be bringing you probably first will be the Stamping Village, which is a whole bunch of these stamping companies that kind of put them together in this big village. And I'll be walking around and checking out all the cool stuff from all the different companies over in the Stamping Village. But if you have a suggestion for a company that you would like me to go check out, feel free to leave a comment. I'd love to have some input about what you guys want to see because it's not just what I'm interested in. It's also what you guys are interested in. And you might have some amazing suggestions that I just was like, oh, I didn't think about running by them yet. So not every company that you love may not be there. So there are some companies or there might be, let's say a particular designer, you love their products, but they make it under another brand. They might be under that brand's company. So just let me know and I will do my best to swing by and check them out. All right. Now, if you are happening to come to the show, that is awesome. I would love to meet up with you. And the best way to do that is to give you my schedule because I'm crazy. I'm all over the place. <laughs> so um, I will be walking the showroom floor. So who knows where I'll be at any little particular moment because sometimes some video take longer than other, but I definitely have specific places I will be because I am demoing or helping teaching classes. So here's my schedule I can give you, which will also be linked in the bottom for everybody to see. On Friday the 17th, I'm assisting helping Lynn Lilly with her three crafting trends of 2020. That is on the 17th from 3.30 to 5.30 in room W217. So if you haven't signed up for it yet, sign up. It's so much fun. On Saturday, I am demoing in the Deflecto booth. You guys get to come by and make some cute little shaker jars. Here's a picture. 
they are super adorable. Now that's just the prototype. There's gonna be a few little alterations. And of course, if you come by and make your own little shaker jar, you can modify it and make it however you want, have all kinds of fun. So I will personally be in the booth from 9.30 to 10.30 and from 1.30 to 2.30. And the Deflecto booth number is 23.14. On Sunday the 19th, I will be in the PMA Industries booth, which is known for a maker's movement and crafter's edge. So I will be demoing and doing some fun things, plus a giveaway for if you are present, you have to be there for some fun things from PMA Industries for maker's movement and crafter's edge. And you guys get to make some fun shaker steps. There's some cool things coming your way with maker's movement, which you guys have seen me play with a few other things already. So that is yet to come. And there's even more happening there. So I'm there from nine to 11 and also from two to five. And that is booth 1600. And then on Monday, I'm with the Crafters Workshop. You guys know how much I love their stencils and their mediums and their paste, and their paints. They are uh, just, I, I love this stuff. I'm demoing from 9 to 11 on Monday morning. And the booth number is 2245. So for all the companies I'm demoing with, I'm also going to be doing video content from those three companies specifically. So those were going to be coming probably live as long as they're not in a bad spot. I need to double check where everybody is on the schedule plane. So now you know my schedule. I'm also heading to the designer section meeting. If you bump into me, I would love to give you a little treat. So I have about little goodie bags. My little goodie bags have some fun things in them. They have little treats. They also have, some of them have like some Advil in there because we all have like sore feet or a headache. They got some thumbs in there because God knows we're all eating out and having drinks and stuff. So I will definitely be having some of these fun things supplies limited so it's kind of a first come first serve and if I run out I only can carry so many for the day so I have to kind of budget them out throughout the entire day but if I run into you I'd love it some other designers and some other people at the show also love to give out little buttons and so I have started a button collection I've given out buttons in the past as well but I am doing a goodie bag for the second year in a row because it's just something kind of fun something kind of cool something a little different all right another fun thing I love to go do is the new product showcase so I will be bringing you video from that as well. And therefore you guys can see the latest and greatest all kind of like in a jam packed video and it's crazy busy. I will do my best to go live and have my phone nice and charged this year. Cause last year I was running down on battery. It was not good. So I have my phone nice and charged and bringing you and usually the manufacturers are standing next to each booth individually and you get a chance to hear from them and kind of a quick snapshot what their new product is and what they're kind of pushing for this year in terms of their new invention the new thing the new big woohoo and so that will be coming to you as well it's gonna be about six o'clock mountain time on friday is when i'll be at the product showcase going live with that video so that's gonna be a blast so what are some of the other fun things i get to do well i'm going to be going to the plaid breakfast Yay, that is so much fun. I'm going to a VIP breakfast for creativation for, for the AFCI organization. I've been invited to that. I'm meeting up with scrapbook.com. We're having a little mingle breakfast one morning. I also get to have designer dinners with lots of my friendly designers. I get to go out with dinner with Crafters Workshop. I mean, there's just so much fun stuff I get to go do. And it's working with companies, working with individuals. Just it's just it's a blast. But the whole main point of me going is to find wonderful ideas, wonderful products wonderful companies to work with, bring them back and then show you the latest and greatest and to demo and to make products and to kind of have fun and create and hopefully inspire you with some of the new things that are out there because there is some amazing new things that are on being hinted about that they're coming for this next year. So I will also be bringing back some samples and some other products that we'll be playing with right away. So stay tuned for some of my unboxing or unbagging videos once I get back from the show. And there will be a continually to have more videos after we get back that I pre-recorded and I'll be bringing up after the fact. So this is one of the, the this is the first video for Creativation 2020. And I hope you guys have some wonderful suggestions. If not, I will definitely make sure I have tons of videos to bring back live and recorded at least two to three videos live every day the show is open. And I'll be on the show floor helping set up some booths. And so I will be bringing you some sneak peeks from behind the scenes on the showroom floor before everything opens. So now I'm in a crazy packing mode, making sure I'm not forgetting my business cards, my good shoes, getting my clothes figured out. Got my hair done today. Don't you love it? My little hair did. <laughs> got my new color in. So I got to do my nails. I got to go get my nails done. Um, getting all my little bits and pieces for my demos and everything all packed up, making sure I'm not leaving behind my camera, my chargers, you know, all those things, bringing extra Advil for myself, you know, just things like that. Vitamins, got to survive on vitamins. Uh, water bottles, so I can refill my water bottle. Another key thing I always bring, and this is just for anybody who happens to be going for the first time, is like some energy bars or just because sometimes I just can't get away for lunch. Breakfast and dinner are usually easy because I do them like before 
I have some breakfast meetings that I go to and then dinner. I usually have some dinner meetings I go to, but lunch is the hard one. Let me tell you. So I always pack some extra bars for that. And it's like some energy things I put inside my drink. I love my Arabon for that. It's awesome. Lots of packing, lots of organizing, making sure triple checking every list that I have just kind of making sure I have everything and inevitably by the time I get there, I'm like, crap, I forgot something. <laughs> Hopefully I won't do that this year. I've got enough years. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> so thanks so much, everybody. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that bell button on your screen. So for you get notifications when I go live for Creativation 2020. Bye, everybody.